Hello everyone and welcome to scardia.com. I'm your educator Dr. Ali Imran and today's lecture is on Bechet's syndrome. In this lecture we're going to study about the Bechet's syndrome and to outline the lecture we're going to study about its introduction, its history, its etiology along with its epidemiology. Then we're going to learn about its pathogenesis that why it's called a mixed disorder, how it has both the autoimmune and the auto anti-inflammatory components to it and how both of these comprise the cascade of its pathogenesis. We're going to learn all of this in this lecture along with the clinical features along with various systemic manifestations. We're going to learn about the skin manifestations, how they present themselves, how different presentations affect uh, in different areas and how they are different in different patients. We're going to learn about all of these skin and cutaneous manifestations along with the ocular ones. We're going to learn which one is the most dire one and can result in permanent loss of vision and which one are not that common. Then we're going to learn about the joint manifestations. We're going to learn about the arthritis and why the arthritis is of a certain kind. We want to learn about the arthralgia and why arthralgia is more common in the Bechet syndrome. Then we're going to learn about both the laboratory finding, why these findings happen in the Bechet syndrome, why they're important. And then we're going to learn about its diagnosis. What is the role of the imaging in its diagnosis? which are the imaging of choice in such scenarios uh, in which condition we use the MRI in which condition we use the spectroscopy then we're going to learn about its treatment and how all of these dis different treatments uh, are applied to the patient in various events why the topical steroids important why the systemic uh, uh, steroids are important and how the other um, drugs are given in certain manifestations which those manifestations are and how to treat them and how these drugs along with their mechanism of action help them in their remission. You can find this lecture along with thousands of other lectures on scardia.com in topics ranging from biochemistry to histology to physiology to the courses in uh, pathology, surgery, medicine, gastroenterology to even courses in rheumatology and radiology. You can even start your free trial by logging on to the website. So thank you so much for watching scardia.com.